Today's video is going to be how to verify top dead center or zero on an assembled engine. To do that, you use a piston stop that you can purchase at the local auto parts store. It looks something like that. Or in my case, I took the porcelain out of old spark plugs and used hinge pins to make a piston stop. The idea behind the whole thing is you want to stop the piston at the same point on both sides of top dead center and mark it on the balancer and then top dead center would be halfway between the two points. Mark it on one side, mark it on the other side, and then halfway is top dead center. To get started, the first thing that you would do would be to unhook the battery if the engine's still in the car. I always remove all the spark plugs so the engine will turn over easily. You want to back off the rocker arms on the number one cylinder so that the valves cannot open at all. If you don't know that your piston is at top dead center, if it's on a running engine, you can set the Pull the distributor cap and rotate the engine until it's firing on number four and that would put the piston at the bottom of the stroke so the piston stop won't hit it as you're screwing it in. Take the piston stop screw it in the number one spark plug hole I'm going to rotate the engine clockwise, slowly. Until it stops. When it stops, you take a marker or a pen and mark the balancer where your timing mark says zero. Then you turn the balancer in the other direction, almost a full turn, slowly, until it stops again. Then you're going to mark the balancer with the pin at zero. Then turn the balancer in the other direction a little bit and screw the piston stop back out. And turn the balancer up to where you can see both of your marks. And then you would get a flexible tape measure and measure the distance between the two marks. I'm coming up with five and a quarter. Divide that in two, two and a half for five, and then an eighth of an inch for a quarter, it'd be two and five eighths. You take your pen or marker and mark it at two and five eighths. And that would be where top dead center is at on the zebra mark that we were using to mark the other two marks with. You line that up to zero. And as you can see, this engine here, the mark was right where it's supposed to be. It's very important to do this. If your timing is off, you could have serious detonation problems if it's way too much advanced, or you could be losing a lot of horsepower and torque if it's too much retarded. On an eight inch balancer, two inches is approximately 30 degrees. So if you're off only a half of an inch, that would be approximately eight degrees out. If you had your timing set at 38 degrees and you were eight degrees out on the high side, that would be 46 and that would be way too much. 
if it was on the other way and set at 38, it would only be 30, and you would be losing a lot of horsepower and torque by not having enough advance in your engine. That's going to be all for today. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.